Hello and welcome back. Today I'm searching Thingiverse because I want to revisit smoothing 3D parts with UV resin. Since it is fall, I wanted to print something appropriate, and I've stumbled upon this pumpkin, so let's download it and get it loaded into Cura. Uh, what? Wh what is this? It's so tiny, why is it so tiny? What the hell's going on? Okay, let's find something else. Well, I didn't really want to do a Christmas tree, however, seeing it printed in green here has given me an idea. So here it is in Cura, and these are my print settings. The infill is at 10%, and I'm doing the print sequence one at a time because I'm printing the tree and the trunk. It's going to take about an hour and 12 minutes, so let's jump into a time lapse. Okay, so I've ordered this mica powder from Amazon, as well as these resin mixing cups and these, uh, wait, where the hell are my popsicle sticks? Ah, here we go, 200 popsicle sticks for stirring. So let's get these open and check them out. it's not a mess in this box. I've seen some people getting them and one of the bags has split open and spilled everywhere in this box. Uh, yeah, fingers crossed. Alright, they look good. We got lucky. Oh, and look at this cute little scoopo that came with it. Alright, we'll use this green. This looks pretty good. Okay, what are Christmassy colors? I'm I'm drawing a blank. All right, let's see how well this turns out. Oh great, it's already getting all over my fingers. This is going to be messy. I hope it doesn't get all over my printer. That would really suck. Okay, four colors, four cups, let's do this. We'll start with this red, and this looks like a lot in the video, but the scooper is really tiny in actuality, so it's not a lot. Oh, wonderful. Wonderful puff of big red all over my arm. Fantastic. Let's 
Let's try to get organized here before I start this so I can keep the mess to a minimum, hopefully. First off, don't be like me. Wear gloves. Be safe. Okay, I'm only going to put a little bit of resin in these and a bit more in the green. Stir it up real nice and that's looking pretty good. Ah, wonderful. So much for not making a mess. I may have to add more resin to this one. It's a bit thick. That's what she said. <laughs> Oh great, I got some blue mixed in the green when it splattered. Luckily the green overpowers it. Alright, so I'm just gonna start painting it on, and I want it a little thick so that it covers all those layer lines so you can't tell it's a print. So I'm going to just do half of this and try to cure it, and then turn it around and hold the cured part so I can paint what's left. Okay, I'm going to pause the video to cure this and come back when it's cured enough to hold. Alright, now I'm just going to paint over the other half. Cut up some popsicle sticks here thinking I would use them to dab the other colors onto the tree to make ornament like shapes. And you'll see here it doesn't exactly turn out as well as I had planned. It's not terrible, but some globs are a bit bigger than I wanted, so there's some runs here and there.
here is the finished product. No, it's not perfect. There's a few runs in it as I mentioned. The ornaments maybe didn't come out all that great, but the green looks amazing. You can't tell if this was printed at all. It looks like a piece of shiny plastic. I'm happy with it. It was just an experiment after all. Maybe if I got some fine tipped brushes instead of pieces of popsicle stick, the ornaments would have turned out a little better, who knows. Alright, so just to note, I did try it again using the same brush I painted the green on with. It's not a super fine tip, but I was able to control the shapes of the ornaments a little bit better. So it looks marginally better overall. So even though this looks like a kindergartner painted it, <laughs> I would still call this a win. Because the experiment wasn't to see how well I can paint, it was to see if I could make a 3D print look smooth and hide the layer lines. And that's what I accomplished, so I'm pleased. And that's what counts, right? Alright, I appreciate you tuning in, the links will be in the description, I'll catch you in the next one, and as always, have the best day ever. Hello, and welcome back. Today, I'm searching Thingiverse, because I want to revisit smoothing parts with 3D... What? <laughs> I'm hoping it's not a mess in this box. <laughs> <laughs>